God and for all you will do for us in this remaining week of the month Lord we say thank you in Jesus name is somebody said to thank this God let's go let's take our anchor scripture Psalm 105 and I'm reading verses 1 and 2 Psalm 105 verses 1 and 2 I read from here they all give thanks unto the Lord call upon his name make known his deeds among the people sing unto him sing psalms unto him talk ye of his wondrous works is somebody said to thank this God rise upon your feet with the joy of your heart rise upon your feet with all your heart with everything in you with all sincerity and humility as we lift our voice to say oh God of intervention the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We thank you for bringing us to the last Sunday of this month of October 2020. We thank you for preserving the lives of every member of this commission. All through the period of the nationwide protests. Father, for all you have done for us and for all you will do for us this remaining week of the month, Lord, we say thank you. Lift up your voice. I'm going to appreciate this God. Lift up your voice. Let him hear you. Let him hear you this morning as you give him thanks. Let him hear you. Let him hear you. Thank you, Father. Oh, God of intervention. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We thank you for bringing us to the last Sunday of this month of October 2020. Oh God, we take it not for granted. It's not by might, it's not by power, it's not because we are too wise, it's not because we are too strong on our own. But oh Lord, by your grace and mercy, Father, Lord, oh, we take it to heart to say thank you. We have seen the last Sunday of this month of October. You have brought us, we are here in the sanctuary, we are not in the hospital, we are not in the mortuary we are not in the police cell lord we are in your sanctuary to be blessed again today we say thank you we say thank you thank you lord for preserving the life of every member of this commission all through the period of the nationwide protest lord we have come to say thank you blessed be your holy name thank you for all that you have done and all that you will do for us in this remaining week of this month of october and the remaining part of this year 2020 for all that you do for us oh lord we come to say thank you when others may be crying there is a casting down lord will be saying there is a lifting up for us thank you father is somebody appreciating this god none of us will cry the tears of sorrow none of us will cry the tears of mourning but the tears of joy the tears of celebration enjoying the goodness of god for the remaining part of this year and beyond thank you faithful god only you are faithful we bless your name forever in jesus mighty name we give thanks somebody shout a glorious hallelujah help me congratulate your neighbor to your left to your right say congratulations my neighbor as we put your hand together for jesus celebrate him hallelujah Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you saw what happened on Monday and Tuesday, somebody will not need to tell you to say congratulations. If you see somebody today, you need to congratulate him. On. It was not easy on Monday and Tuesday. Huh. If they displayed near your house, you would have known that, ah, Baba, I thank you. I thank you. Praise the Lord. We'll be taking the prayer of mercy. And this time we're praying God to have mercy upon us. No. It is by his mercy that we are not consumed. And his compassion is forevermore. 
Our prayer is anchored on Psalm number 138, verse 8. And it says, The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thy own hands. Praise the Lord. We shall be saying, O God of intervention, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we know we can always count on your mercy. Please, Lord, by your mercy, make this week a blessed week for every one of us and also perfect the delivery of all our blessings for this month into our hand. In Jesus' name. Can we please rise? Can we rise? Mercy, mercy. Oh, God of intervention. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We know we can always count on your mercy. Please, Lord, by your mercy, make this week a blessed week for every one of us. And also perfect the delivery of all our blessings for this month into our hands. In Jesus' name. O oh God of intervention. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We know we can always count on your mercy. Please, Lord, by your mercy, make this week, starting from today, a blessed week for every one of us. A blessed week for every one of us. And also, perfect the delivery of all our blessings for this month into our hands. Please lift up your voice. This is the last week of the month. The blessing that is meant for you for October that has not come. Call them, call them, call them, call them, call them. I refuse carry over. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. My blessings for the month of October, I call you forth. I call you in this week, last week of the month. Come, 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 come. In the name of Jesus. Lord, this week, make it a blessed week for us. Starting from today, Sunday. By next Sunday, let me have testimony to share of your goodness and mercy. A blessed week, a blessed week. In the name of Jesus. Perfect the delivery of all our blessings. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We are relying on your mercy, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. We are so going to pray for your mercy. This new week is in the hand of God already. We are going to say, Father, this week we rely on you. In this week we rely on you. We rely on you. See us through again. By your mercy, by your mercy, by your mercy, in Jesus' name. Please, this is the time you must pray. Pray at home. Pray this time. The table we are in is perilous time. Pray, 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 pray. Only good news is our portion in Jesus' name. Are we happy this morning? Let's put our hands together for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. If there is any testifier in the house, please go to the pastor's conference room to register your testimony. They are waiting for you there. Hallelujah. Let's lift our hands as we worship God this morning. He alone deserves our praise and worship. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise because there is no one like you. Thank you, everlasting Father. Awesome God, how oh great Thou art! You. 
let's celebrate the Lord. Amen. Amma miau, e o sahio. Who was a 
your hand together for the good God of intervention. If you are clapping unto the Lord, make it bigger and better and better and better and better. Hallelujah. Our God is good. The shout of joy shall not depart from your habitation. You may please have your seat in God present. Let's put hands together once again to the most high God. The God of Pastor J. Chumba Jesus. Put your hands together. You are all welcome to the last Sunday in the month of October. To him alone be all the glory in Jesus' name. Nigeria and nation shall not witness war in Jesus' name. If you love your country, say amen. amen. <laughs> war no good though. <laughs> so it will not be our portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. Brethren, very shortly, we are going to be rising up on our feet in honor to the Most High God. As we take the welcome charge from the book of Psalm, Psalm 149. Psalm 149, please turn your Bible to Psalm 149. 149. We are going to take it together from 1 to 9. Together, together. Hallelujah. In honor to the Lord Almighty, let us rise up on our feet. I'm going to take it together. Hallelujah. One, two, go. Hello. Praise the Lord. Some of us are waiting for the screen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> so, let's go. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song. And his praise in the congregation of saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with their timbre and harp. For the Lord take a pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their best. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a tool as just sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the hidden and punishment upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their noble with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his sent. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You may please have your seat in God's presence. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise Master Jesus, children of Abraham. Please, can you put your heart together for Jesus once more? My sister who led that praise uh, team, see me after service. Put your heart together for Jesus. Yeah. I love good things. I love good things. Put your heart together for Jesus. To take us further in this service is testimony time. Testimony time. By the special grace of God, each and every one of us has testimony. But 19 of us wants to share what God has done for them. Please, we don't have time to waste. If you don't hear your name, come out. Sister Teresa Amoruji, glad for them. Brother Abraham Okoko, Felicia Iduje, Brother Emmanuel Uwaboy, glad for them. Please put your hands together for them. Julie Inomamia, Sister Sosse Oji. Onsele, Sister Kate Omoike, Brother Pascal Ibo, 
Clap for them, please. Mr. Bello, are they so are they so care? Sister Ishioma Owa Boy, Brother Manvelo Emmanuel, Brother Agbe Jerry, written testimony. Sister Abia E. Hosway, Sister Vero E. De Home, Sister Markham Fever, Sister Mason Edo 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 Hona, Brother Pavelos. Abasuyi, Ada, John, and Sister Irogama. Put your hands together for them. Nineteen of them. Okay. Please, if you know today is your first Sunday worshiping with us in this auditorium, we know you will be coming today, so we have a special seat for you. Wherever you are, whether in the inside the hall or overflow, pick, pick your bag, whatever you came with, and come straight to this place where we are prepared for you. Put your heart together for Jesus. I want to say, please, it's testimony time. It's not the time to begin to sing. It's not the time to say, I dream, I see myself in the river. I will take the mic from you. Put your heart together for Jesus. Salvation, oh yeah. Now me be Teresa Moreji. What thing God do for me? Now I want to talk. So my neighbor for us, me with a girl quarrel for us. Every time you go, they use in Papa they boast for me, saying Papa na udo, in Papa na udo. Me I just tell her say me I not get Papa na only God that be my Papa. So every time you go, they worry me because say you want buy credit. If you follow me back, they're not going to pay. Now I tell them, say, I know they say credit again. So they come, they fight me for the with my mama. If you know they cause my enemy, I'm not going to mind them. I go, they do my own. I got to talk with God, though. I'm just talking with God. 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 For me now, the papa went to the boss for me. God struck him down. Me, I don't know. So they come, they talk, say, oh, yes, I don't kill their papa. Oh, yes, I don't kill their papa. I don't know. Where another neighbor called the saucy because my picking use a covenant salty, take bath and a blood of Jesus for a night. It just come out the cost my picking. No cost way, no cost. Madam testimony, what did God do? What did God do? What did God can't do now? Now I can't even know, say, now truth, now the woman they talk, say, now my God, now I keep the person. Because he called my. Praise the Lord, somebody. The enemy in the la uh, uh, our labor. The papa went to the boss, he died. Let me tell you one thing. Wait. Somebody tell you, say, hey, Papa now would do. Papa now would do. Tell us all your papa now he create who do. Put your heart together for Jesus. The creator cannot be greater than the created. You see the The second one, what did God do for me? Now, uh, now wood I go by. May I put for my store? When they break it, may I carry the wood? I can't say, say Oh my body, it can't be like say electric is sh shock me, shock my enemy, not be me. I'm not going to where I did. Now, so I call the shake. I went there, they talk blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Now, so I they shake where I call she say, God, can rescue me. I can't there, I said, I did. So I thank God for my life today. Put your heart together for Jesus. Anyone who tell you, say, Papa, now who do? Turn out like your papa create who do? Who do not stone? Not be God Christ stone. Put your heart together for Jesus. Grace and glory. Grace and glory. My name is Felicia Idoge. I want to appreciate what God has done for me during my late mother burial on the 17th of last month. I really appreciate the heavy salvation. Especially our daddy, the mommy who had been there for me, Pastor Chris, who prayed for me before I traveled to my late brother's, my mother's burial. I want to also appreciate what my, you, uh, my, yes, oh yeah, yes, oh yeah, my Esa, you know, they will be there for me. Throughout my burial, my late mother burial, 
they have been there for me. Kore Thompson, the heavy salvation stand still, there was no rain. Everything was calm. Though the, after the barrier, the, uh, the, the Praise the Lord, somebody. My sister has come to thank God for what God has done for her. The success of her late mother, you know, burial ceremony. Put your hand together for Jesus. For admission yesterday, God, God has delivered me for the hand of the enemy. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hand together for Jesus. Praise and glory. My name is Mexio Demena Jesus. I'm here to thank God for the gift of life that God gave to me. I'm here to say thank you, Jesus. On Thursday, my baby is one. So thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Put your heart together for Jesus. If you want to clap, clap for Jesus. Praise the Lord. Help me to celebrate the grace of the house. I want to thank God. My name is Success Ogemese. I want to thank God for my life and my family. I want also to thank God for the gift of life. I want also to thank God for her the beautiful year to my year. Today is my birthday. I want to give God the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Grace and glory. Grace and glory. My name is Ibo Pascal. I've come to thank this good God of intervention, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Pastor James Shumba Jesus. This God, transformation is not an easy thing. But I want to thank this God who is transforming me who is taking me from one level of life one stage of life to the other and how he is dealing with me although it's not easy but I like it and I say I want more of it I want to thank him for his deliverance for my family and my children how God averted accident in the life of my daughter I come to say thank you Jesus I want to also thank this good God of intervention for bringing his word to pass my wife will always complain on her business and one day the Lord said to me tell her to get a covenant of salt whenever she close she should sprinkle the covenant of salt before closing her store I had her said it that ah, this covenant of sorts they work. That ever since things have turned around, I come to say thank you, Jesus. Can we put our hands together for Jesus? Grace and glory. My name is Ada John. Please celebrate the grace in this house. Celebrate the grace of my father, your father, Pastor James Chumba Jesus. That the more grace, sir. That the fresh oil upon your life in Jesus' name. I want to thank this God for using Pastor Oko to break evil cage in my daughter's life. Today is my son's birthday. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Put your heart together for Jesus. This one, all your day here, you do it. Talk. Uh -huh. Grace and glory. My name is Julie and Omami. I want to return all the glory back to Master Jesus, the God of intervention. Last two weeks. Fly used to gather inside my room. So on Wednesday last week, when daddy was coming, I just said, daddy, please, Fly is 
gather inside my room. That is say for what? And now t- he now said that I should be using covenant of salt and sprinkle. So last week Tuesday, when all these things are going on in the town, so they just called me. When they called me, they said that my uncle died. The one that is even is the one following my dad directly. I just want to return all the glory back to Master Jesus because I did not lose my dad. Praise the Lord. And I want to thank God, this good God of intervention. After closing on sewing day, a sister just walked, just said, okay, come and take material blessing. And the same sister, somebody else still bless her. I want to return all the glory back to this. Wait first. Praise the Lord. That's, that testimony wasn't too clear. You were seeing flies in your house. And you explained to daddy. And they called you that your uncle died. Was it the one responsible? That one was it? Why have you come to? Are you happy? I mean, what? And what I'm testifying for is that I did thank God that it's not my dad. Because if it is my dad now, maybe I will be running or at a skater. I'm not happy because it's my uncle that died. Put your hands together for Jesus. Praise the Lord. I remember I me celebrate this with God in the house. That is more grace, sir. Your all here will not long dry. Please, audience, please. We are in the church. That is more grace, sir. Your all here will not long dry. The way it so, that God used to deliver me for this Mishkovu. My grandmother is dead. I also have to thank this good God. Thank you, Jesus. Wait first. You're not talking away. Your grandmother. Was it the one troubling you? Yes. Okay. My grandmother, the way he used to trouble me, is dead on Thursday. Four days ago. Put your hands together for Jesus. I will always want us to get the testimony well. All your trouble, I will die. Praise the Lord. My name is Abia Uwai Hoswei. A living testimony of every intervention fire ministry. I'm here to thank God. For the deliverance last two weeks Thursday. It's only God that knows what dad did. In short, God bless my daddy. More grace in Jesus' name. God bless our daddy, not my daddy. God bless our daddy. God bless our daddy. The one God is using for us. In short, since that day, I'm sleeping well. No trouble. Thank you, Jesus. Put your heart together for Jesus. Can we just say, Daddy, we love you? Oh, yes. Grace and glory. My name is Sister Kate Tomoike. I'm here to give thanks to this God of this commission for what he has been doing in my life and the life of my family. Also for the coverage I, my family, enjoy here. I'm also happy to tell you that my daughter has put to bed a bouncy baby girl. Mother alive. Baby alive, husband rejoicing, grandparents celebrating, the whole church happy. I am here also to give thanks to my pastor. Please allow me to kneel down. If I can't get oh, my pastor, your oil will not run dry. Your oil will not run dry. You will live to see your, your children's children. Mama, your oil will not run dry. You will live to see your children's children. Your children will surround your table. Pastor Oko, your children will surround your table. God will favor you. You can't understand what I'll be passing through. I just want to thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because if I have my all over my body, it's not enough to thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Happiness will not cease in your home. You will not understand. Put your hands together for Jesus. Praise God. Amen. My name is Pharaoh Jesus. Grace and glory. And you like to ask us, you are not. Oh, we may come here. Yatana. Oh, we may not have a webo. I'll get a webo on our in Nigeria. I'll get a good soda. I want five years. You know what, maybe. Five years of your world, I was to do an army, be another dodo, you're not to hear Bene. Oh, you knew a gay, or even five years, you're not a me a big gay. A jay, jay, I get you know, you're not to hear Jay, and I thought ten years, and I got me one jay. 
on our view, what are we walking as you? We are in here, Jenny, and I was up our now. We're talking in Megijena, yeah, he had been one, and I do a near who we are, and then we call it him away near who we are, and I do near the man. When I say, not here, Benedima, Rimana, who's your warming winner, a pastor, Demu Diaga here, Pastor Chris, all the pastor, then you know, yeah, a pitching man, error. Oh, when I call him, eh, when I call him, we are ming winner, you go not here, go man. In other vibe, the church we go can not one year come your book. I want to drop it here. The author of it, or when I call him, where it was a man, and then we are talking out of me and winner. I'm not a man, it's your mamma. I got me winner. In our one, since you go on here, can win a hair, can't be going to be going to go and we are doing our way. I so say, and I did not do where I do our way. I so say, I do that. Praise God, praise the Lord, somebody. Mommy has come to thank God for what God has done. Mommy, thank you. What God has done for her. The daughter in Oves, according to her, visited Nigeria. And when she got to abroad, they took her paper. After five years, they released the paper. Again, it happened again. They took the paper. And after five years, they released it. But this one, there was no job, no work. She came here to, to pray and she vowed. And she met her father in the Lord who lay hands on the picture of the person and now last week the woman called, the daughter called him and he has gotten a job the vow she vowed is what she has come to redeem, put your heart together for Jesus, God will answer somebody here today praise the Lord my name is Isioma Wabo Jesus I'm here to thank God for the gift of life and for healing. And also, Monday was my birthday. Grace our glory. Grace our glory. I want to thank God. My name is Ibalo Wagboy Jesus. I want to thank God for adding wire to my age on the 20th of October. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Happy birthday, my son. Grace and glory. Good morning, everyone. I just want to thank God for adding a beautiful year to the life of my parents on Friday and my mom, twin sister. I just want to say thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Praise the Lord. Grace and glory. I want to thank God for God adding a year to my age in the name of Jesus. I also want to thank God for God helping me and my family since I entered into this commission. May his name be praised. Daddy, your cup will never run dry in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Grace and glory. My name is Samuel Moroviye. I'm here to thank God for his goodness and his mercy towards my life and that of my family. Right from January down to this month of October, the Lord has been so good to us. And I want to say thank God for healing me and my family, my mother and my baby. The Lord heal us. I say thank you, Jesus. And also thank God for the grace in this commission working for us. And the Lord, I was searching for a job. The Lord give me a job. I say thank you, Jesus. I also thank God for having a year to my age this month. Say thank you, Jesus. I so thank God for the life of my children. The Lord had a year to their age. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, Church. My name is uh, Marvelous Obasi. Uh, before I begin, I would like to say there is God here. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's true. Praise God. It happened on Saturday last week. After um, work, I went home. So I said, let me cook. They said, I don't used to cook. So I said, let me cook. He do me. <laughs> so I put on my gas, and then I was almost done halfway. And I discovered I was no longer having ground oil. So I said, let me heat this um, palm oil. So while I was heating the oil, not even up to two minutes, it's as if the pot was dried up. Then I said, let me drop it. Fire just came out from the pot, and then uh, it burnt my hand, my left hand. I, it was like, 
<laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> it, was, it was like in the movies. You know, there was literally fire on my hand. I had to use a napkin to put it out. Then I didn't know what to do. The pain was excruciating. I was the only one at home. My neighbor was not around. It was raining. My landlord's apartment, even if I scream, nobody will hear me. I was just walking along the balcony, holding my hands. I couldn't scream. I couldn't. I was feeling pains. So I called them at home. They said I should put salt. I put salt. I didn't just put salt. I put anointing oil, put communion, put everything. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Then I said, they said I should get raw egg. The last egg I had, I just boiled it. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. So, is it bad there, Lord? <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, my spirit now said, ah, brother Ife, you brought any drama team. His, um, his office is at um, Water Resources. My side is first to borrowed. So I said, let me call him. Now, this is how God works. Brother Ife was done with his work. He was about to go home, but he said something was just keeping him there. So when I called him, it was about entry, Keken Ape. Then he rushed down. Five minutes, brought the egg, poured the egg and everything. I didn't go to work for one week. That night, while I was sleeping, I was running shifts one hour. If the hand just touched, I would just... But it was a tango. I went to work yesterday, and our manager, station manager, saw it. And he said, no, 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 go home, go home. Don't come to work tomorrow. So, praise God. Wait first, wait, wait. Praise the Lord. Talk, talk true. Now you do me, you could have been a young. It was food, it was food. <laughs> Put your hand together for Jesus. You see all this bad jello, eh? They will stay with their mother when their mother is cooking in the kitchen. Me, I do house boy. I can cook very well. <laughs> Grace and glory. Celebrate the my name is Abraham Okoku. Join me to celebrate the grace of God upon our Father in the Lord. He's a Father indeed. This month is my month of triumph. God make me to triumph over my enemies. And I want to thank God on the 28th. My car was snatched. That is October 28th last year. My car was not this month making one year. The reason why I'm thanking this God, my brother drove the car, they didn't harm me, they didn't do him anything, but the car go is is alive. That was the reason why I'm thanking God for that. And one of the greatest things on the twenty one, I didn't expect it. I was having more than enough. I don't know where to start from. I just say God take over. As I call daddy, I say daddy. My wife is in testimony room. He said, go, she will deliver safely. To God be the glory. She put to bed a bouncy baby boy without stress. I want to say thank you, Jesus. Mother alive, baby alive, father rejoicing. It was wow. Thank you. Praise the Lord, somebody. We have one written testimony. Permit me. My prayer for as many believing God for such blessing. The cry of your old baby will not be absent in your home. A written testimony from brother Abby Jerry. He said, I got to Lagos in search of job. I got to Lagos in search of job and not up to a week God of intervention bless me with a wonderful job put your heart together for Jesus and also I was among those that protested at the lucky toll gate I am thanking God that I came out alive If you see what happened in Lekki, this is not the way you will clap for a job. Put your heart together for Jesus. Please, if you know you're not a doer, can you stand with me? As we begin to appreciate God for who has done this for me and you, our brothers and sisters, that they will thank you. It could only be only you. Thank you for the deliverance, the babies, the good jobs, 
deliverance is safety. Thank you, Abba Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. If you know and you know that those hands are not for you, put that together for the owner. Hallelujah. Somebody that is excited and you are very happy to be in church this morning, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Grace and glory. Hallelujah. Celebration galore. Hallelujah. Children of Abraham, hallelujah. praise the Lord. I'd like you to welcome your neighbor by your left, by your right neighbor. You are welcome to your moment of testimony. <laughs> hallelujah. Please. If today is your first Sunday in Heaven's Intervention Fire Ministry, please, we'd like you to stand to your feet. You carry your bags, your Bible, every of your belongings, whatever you came to church with, please move to this side of the church. Hallelujah. This seat has been reserved for you. Today is your first Sunday. Maybe you have been here on a Thursday or any of our program, but today is your first Sunday here in Heaven's Intervention, please. Take everything you came to church with and come this way. Hallelujah. God has reserved this seat for you for your own testimony. Praise the Lord. It is announcement time. I like us to be attentive as we listen to the following announcement for 25th of October 2020. On behalf of Jesus Christ, the head of the church and our senior pastor, I welcome you all to this unique service of encounter with the God of intervention. Please remember to wash your hands before entering the church and also to use your face mask. The monthly declaration for the month of October 2020 is my season of triumph. Are you putting your hands together for Jesus? <laughs> Hallelujah. The anchor scripture is 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14. The hour of prayer continues this week for those their birthdays falls into this week. Time for the prayer meeting is 3 p.m. We are all encouraged to please be a part of it and be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Our healing and deliverance service hold this Thursday. Hallelujah. The 29th of October 2020, you are to bring items or products you sell as point of contact to your businesses. Please invite and come with your family and friends. Time is 10 a.m. It promises to be a time of visitation for every one of us and you shall not miss out in Jesus mighty name please feel free to send in your prayers your prayer request testimonies and also your useful comments to info at ifme.org or pastor james at ifme.org please remember to read the book of Psalm 91 and Psalm 121 every day we are all encouraged to do this on daily basis. We are also to carry out the ordinance of the sprinkling of the blood of Jesus in our houses every evening. Please be careful with your personal belongings anytime you are in church. Please hold on, hold on to them even when you intend to leave your seats before and after service. God bless you as you comply in Jesus' mighty name. Remember to get the CD, the video CDs of the messages of this commission after the service. Meet them at the studio for your copy. God bless you as you do in Jesus' mighty name. Good news. We are expected to park our cars every Sunday at the Ohomina event field. 
No more parking on the streets. Please, God bless you as you cooperate with the traffic and security team to ensure this. Anyone who parks outside the field does that at ease or our own risk. God bless you as you comply in Jesus' mighty name. There shall be an election of new team leaders immediately after this service. All teams are to please meet at their various stands to elect their new leaders under the supervision of their team pastors. Hallelujah. Next Sunday, the 1st of November, are you putting your hands together? Hallelujah. 2020 shall be our first prophetic celebration service for the month of November 2020. Please do well to invite your friends and family members too. God bless you as you do so in Jesus' mighty name. The time is 8 a.m. prompt. Remember to invite someone especially for next Sunday service. Hallelujah. The senior pastor shall be meeting with the elders this Saturday, the 31st of October, 2020. All elders are to be in attendance and are to come with their membership and ID cards to be allowed in allowed entry for that meeting. The executives of the elders forum should please wait to see the senior pastor for final preparations for that Saturday meeting. God bless you as you do in Jesus' mighty name. Put your hands together for Jesus. Good news. The family of Mr. and Mrs. Clement Okundia has been blessed with a bouncing baby boy. The baby came on Tuesday, the 20th of October, 2020. The naming ceremony we hold on Tuesday, the 27th of October, 2020, at number three, Osayemere Street, off Osakbawa Street, off Upper Uwa Road, Benin City. Time is 2 p.m. Members of Sanctuary Team are to please take note. Good news. The family of Mr. and Mrs. Abraham Okboko has been blessed with a bouncing baby boy. The baby came on Wednesday, the 21st of October, 2020. The naming ceremony we hold on Wednesday, the 28th of October, 2020 at number 14 Eige Street of Selofin Street of Zafik Hotel Road Enya Quarters Benin City Time is 2 p.m. Members of Austrian team are to please take note. This is to inform all those who applied to join the church security team to be around on Saturday the 3rd of November 2020 for training program. Time is 10 a.m. God bless you as you do in Jesus' mighty name. The elders shall be meeting on Tuesday, the 27th of October, 2020. Time is 2 p.m. All elders are to please take note and be in attendance. All men are to please wait after the close of service at the overflow for a brief meeting. Meeting is compulsory as an important information will be passed across to everyone. God bless you as you do in Jesus' mighty name. All members of evangelism team are to please wait for a brief meeting after the close of service. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. I want to prophetically say to somebody from leadership that this week is your week of divine appointment. God will connect you to your testimonies and they shall manifest in Jesus' name. Grace and glory. Celebration galore. Children of Abraham. These and much more blessings are your portion in Jesus' mighty name. Celebrate the God of intervention with a clap offering. Hallelujah.
grace and glory my level have changed amen very shortly we'll be going for the offerings it's not thanksgiving offering yet the offerings praise the lord the book of malachi 3 verse 10 it said bring in all into this house all your tithes and all your offerings and that there may be meat in the house and prove me down here with if i will not open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall be no room enough to occupy praise the lord so prerogative of the lord god almighty and i will rebuke the devourer for your sake so please come forward can we please make welcome our father in the lord as he makes an impartation of blessing upon each and every one of us amen Hallelujah. Grace and glory. If you know that God has blessed you this week, lift up your ties to Him. Our Father, we thank you for blessing us mightily this last week, for preserving our lives and not allowing us to see shame. We give you the glory. In the midst of the crisis, Lord, you see, made all things well for us. Amen. Glory be to your name. Amen. Today we have returned with that which is yours, so as to connect to that which you have for us. Let everyone obey your voice today. In this tightening hour, be remembered by you. Amen. Lord, let the heavens over us remain open for blessings. Amen. In our businesses, in the work of our hands, in our families, and everything we lay our hands to do. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' precious name. Drop it and say, Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. You can stay where you are. The ushers, the ministers will collect your offering. Praise the Lord. So we are going to be making preparation for our offerings now. Praise the Lord. Our kingdom investment, our vows. The scripture speaking in the book of Luke 6 38. Give and it shall be given unto you. Press down. Shaking together, running over, will I cause men to give unto your bosom? Your offerings, start making preparation, and place them in the envelope. And in honor to God, can we please stand to our feet as we make presentation before the Lord God Almighty, the God of intervention? Let's lift it up before Him. Lord, we give you thanks. We thank you for the opportunity. That you've given unto us to come before you lord to make presentation of what you have given unto us lord we say we appreciate you we give you thanks O oh lord that lord you've given us the grace O oh lord to give before thy throne and lord as everyone have lifted up their hands above their heads we ask O oh lord the blessings that lord goes beyond their imagination shall come to them this time in the mighty name of jesus christ this week O oh lord king of glory they shall experience extraordinary blessings in the mighty name of jesus christ lord we ask as these offerings are lifted up before you lord from the east from the west from the north from the south every blessing accrued to your children lord let it fall into their hands let it fall into their hands lord we thank you because this shall give testimonies this shall call for testimonies and your name will be glorified in jesus name Drop your offering and be blessed in Jesus' name. Ushers, please. Choir, please, please. Amen.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We have a song this morning which says in Pini Dialect, Ekwame Marire, which means we bring thanks to God Almighty for all He has done for us. Hallelujah. Opa 
na senaga eno e ten wa pagbe wa ki maduro me do samana mu ta ya e pon me ya ke na oba ne ri e bari ze e ten wa pagbe wa ki maduro me do samana e ko me ni mariere Hallelujah. God brought us to the end of October. It's not by our making. It's because his love towards us is unfathomable. Hallelujah. It is end of the month Thanksgiving. I wanted to say the end of the year Thanksgiving. We are there already. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know you are packaging something for God. As a token of appreciation, I like you. Before I call up the following people to give thanks for special thanksgiving, I like you to your envelope for him, your substance for him. Package it now. I present him. Hallelujah. If we have done that, rise up on your feet. A kind of Lord, I appreciate you for being there for me. There's nothing, no amount you can give to God that is enough. No amount. You will bring all your millions. It's not enough. But a sound of appreciation. Lift up your substances. Some fellow are sitting down. You are indirectly telling God, you never do not do well at all. That's what you are selling him. We are saying, let's rise up and appreciate him with your substance. Some of us are still sitting down. Those in the mortuary cannot give time to him. Those in the cemetery cannot give time to him. Abba, <laughs> lift up your substance before the Lord Almighty. If you are very rich, lift up your hands. <laughs> Hallelujah. Almighty Father, Almighty God. You are the most high God that is too faithful to fail. 
you brought us to the end of October not by our making father we acknowledge that you are the one that have been fighting for us still fighting father we appreciate you we are not better off than the ones that are in the mortuary now we are not better off than they that are in the cemetery we are not better off than the ones that are in the grave but lord you by your infinite mercy you chose you chosen to preserve our life we are not qualified for it even the substance we brought before you it cannot be able to you know to say lord we this is sustain our life father we say thank you we appreciate to wave that seed to him as a form of appreciation if you are very rich there is something in your hand leave, wave your hand wave your hand and show you are waving to him as a form of appreciation father we thank you we are not the one among the one that are dead we are not among the one in the mortuary father we say thank you blessed be your holy name in jesus mighty name we are praying may the lord accept our thanksgiving amen god bless you so let's call up the following group or persons for their special thanksgiving please drop your sealed with the ministers special thanksgiving by all october celebrants hallelujah special thanksgiving by mama mary umale special thanksgiving by mrs felicia idogi acquire rise up and let's celebrate him praise god October celebrant, dance to the altar. October celebrant, where are you? Make you dance, come now. Choir, get higher. Hallelujah. Mama Mary, who more there? And uh, Mrs. Mrs. Felicia, you don't have, please dance up. Bessie, no room, every winner. Baba, not in the church yet what of mrs felicia idogei you are the one that gave testimony this yes. morning what's happening to you you're looking very strong oh. 
I'm not aware you were going for burial. You didn't tell me that you were going. Huh? When, see, let me say this to everyone. Anytime you want to travel for such events, come to the church. This one is beyond just calling. Come to the church to secure the journey. Secure the program. Secure. Are you with me? Yes, As she was going now, they had fired her an arrow. I was just looking at her as she was going back to her seat. the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Leave that place. I command an opening here and I command the arrow to leave from here. Yeah. Rise to your feet. You are feeling stronger now. What happened to you? Yeah. You are okay now? Mm -hmm. huh? yes. uh -huh. Give me water. It was a substance they blew. The evil personality came to our room and blew a substance that would choke her to death. That was Saturday night. That was what? Saturday night. You were you were coughing the way I'm co I was coughing now. Uh -huh. They came and you know when you enter smoke or dust or anything enter, it was not a normal smoke. It was not a normal cough. Hmm? Give thanks to the grateful. Give thanks to the holy. Give them because he's given Jesus Christ. Give thanks, give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks. Lift your hands, everybody. sanctify this as the living water and the water of life as your daughter partakes of it she shall live and not die in Jesus name why are you sweating like this huh sir enemy wanted to take their life not me I know I have said this place today 
That water means that it has come. What caused problem? Settling elders. Now elders wala. Now they have the from fire they have. What do you go give elders? Go and pray, arrange to give elders. Now that won't be the problem. So. You know all those kind of settling elders before the barrier is done? They were not expecting her to do the more she was able to do. Huh? There was a big word. Confusion. Concerning what? The barrier. Huh? Always let us know when you are traveling. Come. Whatever you are going to give the elders, secure it on the altar first before you go and give them. Yes, sir. Huh? It isn't all of them come. May they help you bury your mother. Thank you, Jesus. Our case is settled. Huh? Pray for me. I should pray for you. Okay, I will yes. pray for you. Don't worry. Don't worry. You are October celebrant. Where's your uniform? They didn't give you. All this partiality. I know they like come. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll pray for you, eh? Yeah, stay, stay. Mm -hmm. All the celebrants, please, can you kneel down? To God be the glory, we rejoice with you. Please give me space to be able to anoint you. The celebrants, how come you don't have uniform? They didn't tell you. Praise the Lord. Well, I think we should have a way of, uh, since you are making it a routine now, a way of organizing ourselves. November people, Try and organize yourself if you want to also have that done. I want I need some space to be able to move. Praise the Lord. Once you are anointed, you can return. Father, we are most grateful to you for preserving these your children. Not because of the work of righteousness they have done. It's not because they qualify to be alive. It is your mercy that has kept them. Lord, we are grateful. For seeing them alive and healthy to see another beautiful year. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you for preserving them. And Lord, they remember to come and thank you. That is a good thing in your sight. Because they have thanked you for this year, may they be alive also in a greater form to thank you next year. If Jesus tarries, I decree concerning every one of you that you shall be well alive, blessed, greater, next year, this time. I pray for every one of you, according to the time of life, marriages for those who are eligible to marry, those who are due to be married, by this time next year, you will be thanking God with your husband. You will be thanking God with your wives. In the name of Jesus you are blessed the oil coming upon your head is the oil of preservation and prosperity you shall be preserved to enjoy the goodness of God in Jesus precious name so once you are anointed you can return to your seat God bless you the Lord bless you congratulations congratulations Congratulations. You shall succeed in life. The spirit of excellence take over you. In Jesus' name. Congratulations. The preserved. Preserved. Every mark of the evil one in your life. Enjoy the covering of God. Enjoy the covering of God. I hope you came with an offering for God. Or you just came like that.
enjoy the covering of God. Enjoy the covering of God. Come on. Enjoy the covering of God. Enjoy the covering of God. Covering of God. your birthday when was your birthday 27th is yes, yet to come yes sir huh? yes. you enter it come on take her thank you Jesus Enjoy the covering of God. Enjoy the covering of God. All this October. October, sir. Who is love it? Planning to travel to Lagos? The love that I'm talking about is planning to travel to Lagos. He's 
to travel to Lagos? No, sir. The, the love that I'm talking about is planning to travel to Lagos. Love it. Try planning to travel to Lagos. Huh? Where is she? She's not here. She's a, is she a member of this church? She do come, but she's not. Familiar. Why is she not here? What's she going to do in Lagos? She's planning to go next month. What is she going to do in Lagos? I don't know. Where is Lovett? Lovett, you are planning to travel. They will send for you to come and you'll be arranging for your tickets to travel. Your agent is in Lagos. Papa. You are blessed. Bring this man. For the next six months, eh? Meet me every mountain. I'll be giving you a transport fare to church for the next six months. Okay? Huh? Secretary, give Papa five thousand every mountain. Wait a second. You say what? On my passport is love it. I'm going to Lagos soon. On your passport is what? Love it. I will. Love it. Yes. I know what I'm talking about. God told me, he said, the person is going in terms of traveling on your passport is what? Love it. I will. But that's not your name. No, that's my passport. That's your passport name. Yes. I knew it wasn't this one. When God speaks to me, I know. Are you planning to travel to Lagos? Yes, sir. Is when? In next month. Next month. Yes, I even called uh, Mrs. Helling to get everything by the passport because I'll be going to Lagos. And your passport is love it? Yes, uh, full and love it. I will. You asked me to change it uh, last year. Okay. I'm grateful to God that his word is confirmed. I have come. You have come out already. Come. Every seasonal sickness programmed into your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, they are destroyed. 
allow this lady allow her just watch just watch in Jesus name come don't be hasty in taking decisions don't be hasty don't be what hasty in taking decisions always calm down always be calm always be what calm. be calm God will help you I pray for your sister and I pray for you it shall be well with you in Jesus name come On your passport is love it. Yes, full and love it. Tell you, you asked me to change it last year. Have you changed it now? No, I didn't want to come. Now I wanted to come if I come back from Lagos. Even before I wanted to call you before I would leave. So it's next month I'm going to Lagos. I call Miss uh, Helen, the, one, the woman that worked at uh, immigration yesterday. So we're to talking about it. this same name. They were complaining about the yeah, name. Yeah, we were just talking yesterday. I called her at night. So we're just talk, discussing about this same name. So she was like, leave You the know, name the name on your passport is your name. That's the real name. Please do everything you can to change that name. God, that's not your name. The name God gave you is blessing. You are just, you see what is happening? Pass pot means what? A pass given to whatever is programmed for you to receive from a journey you know port is a place where every journey either begins or arrives eh? airport eh? sea port your passport is what carries your authentication to receive anything they are bringing for you. Do you understand? The name of your passport is what guarantees what will come to the blessings that will come to you. If the name you are bearing is not what is on your passport, blessings will not be delivered to you. The angels need a pass to deliver her blessings to her. These things are very important. Names are, in fact, name is the most important thing in your life. Your name, when Jesus was to come, his name came before him. When God was to honor him, God gave him a what? A name. That is what? Jacob said to the angel, the man he met with him, bless me. I will not let you go until you walk. What did they tell him? What is thy name? It is your name that guarantees your blessings. Your name is the greatest prophecy of your life. Your name is the greatest prophecy of your life. Famous. What do you do? Engineer famous. Sir. Every time you answer your name, whatever the one who is calling you carries is delivered to you. In the COVID, what do they do? It is your name they call. And when your spirit answers, whatever they have to give to the person, is delivered to the person. Am I talking to you? Hear me, Sister Blessing. Go and change. I didn't know that your name is Lovett in your passport. Mm. Eh? Yes. Can I tell you one thing you don't know? Yes, the name heaven knows you with is that name on your passport. And that's not the name people call you. Try and take this handkerchief. Blessing. Take it in Jesus' name. Huh? Okay. L leave it now. Love it. Take this handkerchief. Take it.
Are you getting where I'm going? Take it now. Love it. Take it. <laughs> Am I talking to you? Blessing. Take it. Blessing. Take it. The reason there is a confliction from her receiving her testimony is because when the blessing comes for blessing the powers working against her say her name is not blessing in the passport who gives you the pass to bring this blessing and the angels will told because the name on the passport is different from the name on the that she's called listen to me passport is a very crucial part of your life if it is the best document of your life make sure the name on your passport is the name you bear I, I might have, what happened you couldn't take it when I called you love it because that's not your name the one that everybody has been calling you is the one heaven has registered as your name so the blessing is due for blessing what's the other son name blessing who Sunday. blessing Sunday mm -hmm. so if angels bring blessing for blessing Sunday devourers can stand on the past say, what's your passport you say I have a, I have a name on, it, on the blessing you say okay check the name on our passport how can you have the, the, the see love it whatever whatever is the name then the powers we ask love it is that the name you are carrying angel see you you don't know what you do is that the name on the blessing you are carrying he said that's not the name and so it's not meant for her i wish somebody would get me here i practicalized it just now i said love it take and her hands couldn't get it it's the reason you have been struggling daughter of Zion it's the reason things have not been working almost get there syndrome almost trying to make it the hijacked <laughs> hey! why are you stopping us huh? why are you stopping us why am I stopping you? Wah! Who are you? Why are you stopping us? I said, Who are you? Why are you stopping us? Who are you? Why are you stopping us? Why are you stopping us? Why are you stopping us? You have not answered my question. Yeah. Who are you? Why are you stopping us? What are you what are you doing to her? Yes, now nah, it's not her name. Eh? She used the day to travel. She don't want to change it. She wants to remain. She is full of me. She's full of little bit. Why? Why is she? Is that her name? Why is she asking? Are you using name? it against her? Yes, now. How are you doing that? Yes, now. Yes, now. Each time she wants to change it, maybe she will think towards it. I will block the way of money. You said? Marie, I'm waiting for you. This church outside that was Come here. one of the pastors. You say are. what? You am from the Marim. You are from the Marim? Yes! What do you want? The God of the Godliness sent me. The what? The God of the Godliness sent me here. Which God of the Godliness? The Godliness from the Marim. The, go the God of what? Of the Godliness. Stand there. I'm waiting for you. They have been oppressing me in that place. Eh? Not talk. Eh? They have been oppressing me in that place. You are what? Yeah, I'm sitting down. You are they are pressing me to not talk. Will you stand there? Will you stand? Marine. You are from the Marine. Yeah. We are not married here. Marine. The godliness about the godliness. I want to expose one of the pastor here. You want to expose? Pastor Billy is a thief. Oh! They have been oppressing me to not talk. You say what? Yeah. Will you stand still? Stand still! You said you came to the. Will you? Keep quiet. 
Do not talk. Keep fudge. quiet. There was a fudge, fudge, fudge. Ma, I can't say this again. The God, the God. Okay, of take it easy. The God of the Keep quiet and talk. Do you know what is happening here? Can I tell you? Can I tell you what is happening? It is an arrow from a marine kingdom. An arrow from a marine pastor, a woman. Will you stop that nonsense? Keep quiet. Keep quiet. You say what? Bishop Boyedekbo sent you to where? Will you stop? Keep quiet. Keep quiet! You spirit of anger. Will I not be all like it? Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Okay, keep quiet now. Keep quiet. Jesus, thank you. This arrow. Will you keep quiet? Keep quiet, I said. In the mighty name of Jesus, keep quiet. The God of Oyedekbo is, 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 is not a mad God. No. It's not an author of confusion. Keep quiet! Keep quiet! Keep quiet here! Leave her! Leave her! Keep quiet! Keep your mouth shut now! Keep your mouth shut! You can't. You want to run mad? Uh, it's the arrow of madness. Lord Jesus, thank you. Give me the anointing oil. Keep quiet, I say! For God's mercy! For God's mercy! I want to travel abroad. I want to miss a man. They did not allow me. Hold that Leave man. me alone. Leave me alone. I know what I'm saying. Pastor, believe come back. Will you? Come. come. On. Keep quiet and I keep quiet. Mercy. I said keep quiet no, no, now no. or you re no. I release fire on you. Keep quiet, I said. You arrow of madness. Return to the owner. Amen. Bring the anointing oil. Thank you, Chief. I know what is happening in the realm of the spirit. There is a lady pastor who wants her to come to her church so that they can get her down. How are you? I'm not fine. What's happening to you? No, let me to say what I want to say. I want to eh? I'm not fine. Come here. Let me say all. Oh. See, I'm from the Marine. The God Listen the to me. I want to say how. Please. What do you want to say? I want to tell you that what? No, well, let me tell my story. There's a woman in my cup and let me talk, Pastor. The God will minister to you. Leave my head. Don't keep quiet. I said. I want to expose them. I expose who? I want to expose Pastor Believe. He used to take your money. Pray for information. Listen to me. I'm keep, not quiet. Mad. keep quiet. Keep quiet. And I will go to her Listen. I'm if any, keep quiet. I said. Do you know where you are? I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Who are you? Who are you? From the Marie. Is Marie, Marie your name? No. Is Marie your name? No, I'm Mrs. You are Mrs. Who? Miss, Mrs. Mrs. Julius. 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 From the Marie. Marie. In the second pound. So what are you now doing here? Okay, let me tell you. If you are from the Marie, yes. Then get out now. From the cup and I said get out if you are from the Marie. Go and carry your things and leave here. We don't have Marine people here. Carry your things and get out. I said, get out now. Get out from her in the name of Jesus. Carry your things and go. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. So, is that lady now that is tormenting her, shooting an arrow to her? Do you understand what I'm saying? Huh? How are you? What's happening to you? It's one lady in the compound. Which compound? In the second you said from, you are from Marine. No. You are not from Marine. Mm -hmm. But you said you are from Marine just now. Give her the mic. 
Who is a lady pastor that wants you? Is there anybody that's inviting you to her church? Yes. Who is that? One woman that was we're in the same compound. Now? Yes. You are in the same compound? No, we have left there. You have left the place? Uh, don't come up for this. You can't say I come. You can't say I come to church. Where is so, Pastor Believe? I just say I Do come you know the person? Yes, he did the same compound. Come here, come. So, as the man, woman said, I come up for the church, for the place, come they disturb me. Hold on first. You know, I can be standing with you here, but I have gone far. <laughs> Madam, look here. There is a woman, she says she's a prophetess. Yes. Eh? Do you yes. know the person? Eh? She just moved into the, uh, the compound. She moved into your compound. What communication do you have with her? We don't. We, we don't. We don't. Talk. Hold on. Listen. You say talk. what? We don't talk. You don't talk. Why? Uh, no. When I when I have about the apartment. Do you have an issue with the woman? No. 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 Huh? No. When did the woman move into your compound? Just a month ago. A month ago. Mm. Do you know this man? Who is he? He's a pastor here. He's a pastor here. What can you say about him? He's a married man. It's a married man. Yes. Uh, what? Uh, why do you say so? God sent me to come and tell him, Pastor God, uh, um, David Oyedipo, uh. and you, then you people were inside the Marie. Uh. Then you said you are afraid to go to the Marie so that they will not uh, uh, initiate you as so that you will be liking women. Then Pastor Bishop David Oyedipo now ordain you to the Marie. You are now walking. Bishop Oyedipo are doing me to marry. He will ordain you. Take you to the Marie. Huh? Then he take you to the Marie. Then he now crown you. A crown of your head. I, I praise the Lord. Are you see where we are now? Sit down, Lord. No, sit down. It's the same woman that's getting all this programming, all this thing. Madness. It's out of madness. Can I, can, can uh, they can they ordain me in the Marie and I'm fighting Marie? It's not possible. Bishop Oedebo cannot be from Marie. Those are the powers. Hmm? Thank you, Jesus. Whatever they fired into you, Wait. In Jesus name The connection is broken And the arrow returned to the owner Thank you Lord In Jesus name Amen Peace Be still in your spirit In Jesus name Come Put your head on the altar. Use your forehead to touch it. Mm. Battles of life. Ah, the lie gets this man. Ah, the lie. This is my friend Marie. He's a real pastor. Ah, they were talking to me. Oh, Pastor, believe you are not a Marie. Tormented from your compound. It's too much. They are tormenting me too much. Do you know what is happening? Oh. This man lives in the same. Keep quiet. The, but the, this pastor lives in the same house with that Marie woman, who is a new person in the house. I don't know anything about her story. So the fire he is drawing from here eh, is affecting her in that compound. So uh, she entered this lady to now begin to speak against who? Pastor Billy. So that me now, I will now hate him and drive him away from the church. Are you with me now? I'm not that kind of person you can come here and deceive. You can't come here and deceive me. You see, all these useless, fake pastors some of you go to meet, they turn your head and turn your brain. So I pray. Do you know him? 
Yes, he's a Who nice pastor. He he's a what? The Lord in the Wait, crowd. relax. He said what? He's a nice pastor. But you say he's a marine pastor. He's a marine. Huh? He's a marine. He's not a marine. No. Uh-huh. <laughs> are you seeing where we are? So if if I am not sensitive now, the powers will just come, use her to cause confusion. God is not the author of confusion. Thank you, Jesus. I have come. Pastor Billy. I'm sure she's, you know she's, she was not the one talking. I know that. She uh, came yesterday to meet me. She came to you to do yes. what? To do she, what? She explained to me what she's going through. So I told her to pray with the comment of You know, you were feeling like you were running. Huh? Yes, my mommy was afraid. Everybody in the compound was afraid. I was running up and down the ring road. Oh, Around ring road? Yes. Like someone who was running. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. He was walking. The Marie. The Marie. He said what? Marie Kingdom. Uh. Yes. He gave me the number to call the man that he said he's coming from abroad. Yes. He said, go to... This place is Sacramento. I went to the house of Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Come. See, if somebody, are you listening to me? If somebody does you weak, don't wear it. Huh? You didn't hear me? You didn't hear me? Come. If somebody does you weak, what you assuming you do? Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah, no, we are. If somebody does you weak, no, no, we are. My genius sister give me weak. Your genius sister give you weak. Yeah. Where are they? I don't wear the weak. My brother always say me to wear this weak. He say no go for my head. Uh, if they give you weak, oh, yeah. nowhere. Okay. Um. I put one for here. They talk am more. If they, I tell no say they give you weak. So. No we are. You are blessed. Go and sit down. Can you remove what's happening? <laughs> when I wonder how our clothes go. Who are you? You say you are where? This one is not a deliverance cell. I want to do this email will come out here. Who are you? I'm sent to stop her. You're sent to stop her. Yes. Who are you? That's you have a name. Oh, father's house. Your powers of father's house. Yes. Okay. You are using her name. The name she's that's on passport. Yes. To work against her. To work against her. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Well, your assignment is over mm. because she will be empowered to change the name. Nah, nah. You say? Anytime she won't change, I ask her. Now they block money. I will block money. Last year they told her two or something thousand. She had the money, so I just do one or two things. Listen now, I said she, she is about to be empowered to change the name. You not go change her. Eh? You not go change her. Okay, you you strong past me, Abby. You not go change her. Wait first, you strong past me. Okay, I not say I strong past you. Now question I ask you, yes or no? I not strong past you, but you not strong past me. Me, I don't talk her now. In the name of the God that sent me, her name will be changed. On that passport and our testimony released okay. in Jesus name. You say what? No. Huh? No. It's already done. No. In Jesus name. No. It's already done. Your hold over her is broken. Leave her. Just leave her. The hold is broken. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus name. shall remember the Lord thy God for it is he that giveth thee what? He does, God does not give wet but he gives you power to get wet that he may establish his covenant which he swore unto your fathers even as it is this day the covenant of wet is an everlasting covenant. 
Somebody ready to receive the power to get wet? Rise to your feet now. I want to relate it. One, get prosper. Keep your hands up here. You are not meant to make wet. You are meant to get wet. The greatest power of wet is wellness. When you are well, you will be wealthy. When you are well, all will be well. And when you are well, then you are in wealth. Go to the hospital of someone who and, and see someone who is wealthy. When you say wealth, he has all the money. And he's gasping for breath. If you ask him your life or your money, he will say, which more, more, wait, it, carry. The money is giving me money. Give me well, health, and let me be well. Your greatest wealth is in your wellness. Once you are well, then you are wealth. You are in wealth. In wealth. Once you are well, it, then you are in wealth. I pray for you this morning. I release into your lives the power to get wealth. There is somebody in this service right now. This service is taking a new turn. There is somebody in this service right now. Every business you have done since you were born has no one has worked. You put your hand in this one. In the other one. Go to left, Usa. Go to right for where? Most of your business is last three months. Three months. <laughs> Where are you going to? Leave him, leave him, leave him. Leave him, come. What do you do? Huh? I'm an engineer. Why are you coming out? You said something that... That that is my that is what is happening. Your experience. Me, yes. Whatever you touch. Yes. I learn how to repair phones and laptops. Then I learn how to repair uh, then anything I start, it will not last up to three months. Everything will just go like that. And what I'm doing now, I'm into dry cleaning now. You so, have left the phone repair. Yes, I'm, I have left for work now, for good work, sir. You are one of such people. There are many of you there. There are many of you here. Oga, come. You are a young man who has a future, but they tampered with your own when you were a baby, a baby boy. Ah, oh, women, women. What's the matter? Eh? What's happening to him? Bring him here. Every one of you they tampered with as a baby. I decree God touch you now. Come. Do you know the hand touching you now? No, sir. It's a blessed hand. Yes, sir. From today, you'll be blessed. Amen. Bring out your two hands. I put this blessed hand upon your hands. 
go and succeed. Amen. Have you also discovered that you easily fall sick? Yes, when sir. that is about to happen, yes, sir. in fact, it comes with sickness. Yes, sir. And from the sickness now, you would have spent your money, nothing to continue again. I live on drugs, sir. I will have some in my bag now. Why should you be living on drugs? Come here. Open your mouth. And God breath into man. And man became a living soul. I breathe into your life the breath of life. No more sickness and disease. Carry me the go. Jehovah, carry me the go. I want to follow you. Carry me the go, the go, the go. Carry me the go. Jesus, carry me the go, the go, the go. Carry me the go. Look at my eyes. Jesus, I want to follow you. I want to follow you. Follow you. Follow you. Follow you. Follow you. Follow you. Your eye they pepper you. Uh, I should look my own. Uh, uh, I have something I'm doing now. Something is leaving me to enter you. Look here. Look at my eye. Just can't. don't worry. Even though they pepper you, just bear down. Bear down. This is the last time. This affliction, you will see it. Open your eyes. Follow you. Want to follow you? There you go. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Sit down. Thank you, choir. God bless you. Rise to your feet. What happened to you? Huh? What happened to you? Sit down, everyone. You have the power to get wet now. Huh? Say amen. Sound of first. You go do your hand like this. Power to get wet. Manifest in my hand. Manifest in my hands. Be looking at those hands. Power to get wet. Manifest in my hand. Power to get wet. Manifest in my hands. Power. No only ones. This man. I need answer. You say I need answer. Not be calling it many times. Now go make it happen. Now go. Once is enough. The man say, "Man, the caller. Man, the caller. I go come." <laughs> It's already in your hand if you believe. Can somebody rise up who believes and say, Power to get wet? Manifest in my hand now. In Jesus' name. Oh, yeah, keep your hand. Be, be looking at your hand. Some of you begin to feel some hot sensation. Hot sensation in your hand. Some of you, it will be cool. Some, it will be cool. Some, your hands will be vibrating. You see this wet, you must get it. Do 
you know why God is giving you the power to get wet? Listen to me very carefully. Listen to me. Are you listening to me? Have you heard the word suffering? Have you heard of the word suffering before? Eh? Things are going to be very hard for people outside there. There will be hardship. But for you, you will have Nyafu Nyafu to eat. Get ready, children of God. Many that are, if, if I'm talking to you, raise your hand first. If I'm talking to you, many of you in this service, when others are saying no money, you will be doing great things with money. What is the power to get wet? It is idea. It is the idea running in your life that makes your life ideal. If, it, if you have ideas, your life will be full of ideas. Things will be working well. I decree upon you the strange ideas that will make you to get wet. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Your life cannot be ideal until you have idea. That blessing you have desired, you have been empowered to get it today. Go and prosper. In Jesus' precious name. Take your seat, take your seat. Young man, young man, sir, you are going to be living on the communion every day. On the what? I'm going to be preaching on that this morning. The power of the communion table. The power of the what? So go and be living on the communion. You know what is communion? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. So, get if you don't have, get from the bookstore. Every morning you take the communion. Okay, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. It will answer for you. Okay, sir. In Jesus' name. God bless you. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling okay. You are feeling okay? Yes. Give thanks to God. Praise the Lord. Uh, come, this man. Where is Sister Eboa? Your marriage is on Sunday. Is your, hus is your husband to be here? Or you come out? Let's introduce you to the church. When I get small picky, just that I see two men in my dream. Those are bulky, allergy shirts. So the, the first one. Don't worry, there's no need for the story. Take the glory from now. Thank you, Lord. Whatever they were programming into your life is over. Because Jesus says so, it is so. Thank you, Lord. Open his tummy. Open your tummy. Open his tummy down. Open his tummy, this man. Open his tummy. You don't understand English? Ah. 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 Ah.
It is over today. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. How are you? The program was to give him epilepsy. That was a useless attack that was programmed into him. He was meant to eat it as food, but Jesus has removed it. Thank you, Lord. Receive the calmness of life in Jesus' name. Oh, yeah, stand up. Go and shine. They can't use. They can't be programming disgrace into your life. Oh, yeah, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Thank you, Jesus. You are blessed. Please come forward. Introduce yourself to them. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. My name is Minister Michael Amoemusa Aigobai. Grace and glory. My name is Osobase Ebuwa Mandali. Their wedding is this Saturday. They're right here. So please, 10 a.m., we are all here to celebrate with them. He's a pastor with the Voice of Freedom Assembly. So we'll be marrying to our daughter here. So we'll just come on Saturday, bless them. Um, I decree that this journey you are beginning together, God will perfect all that concerns you. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Their feet, their match. So I said, now so, now so. God bless you. Congratulations. So after the service, you wait for your class. We'll be going through some class after the service. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. We have a lot to do after the service, so please let's quickly listen to this additional announcement. There was this woman I told that um, the war had a government of poverty. Is she in the church? There's this lady, was it a Thursday service? Come, madam. What are you doing now? Have you started? You say you sell akara or something? Or bole? Fry fish, sir. You fry fish? Yes. And I asked you to add akara to it? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, somebody sent 10000 to you from Canada. Yes, to You have the money with you here? See Pastor Edemode after the service so they can give you for Akara. Yes, sir. Ideas. It's what makes your life ideal. Yes, sir. Akara. God bless you, sir. Akara. 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 Anyhow, you want to answer one and from back or not from front. So far, you register. Akara. Raaka. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So after service, wait, pick the ten thousand. That's enough for you to start. You already have frying pan. You have uh, fire. You have uh, firewood. The only thing you need to do is blend the beans and make shh. Then people will rush. Shh. Somebody is blessed. Don't tell me you don't have money. You don't have money because you don't have idea. It's idea that rules the world. Elders will be meeting with me on Saturday uh, with a team of ministers. If you are an elder, you are coming down, they come with your, uh, what do you call that? Membership card or your ID card. Come with the two, if you have the two. Without any of such identity, nobody will welcome you here. Because what I, the meeting that day is specially for the elders of this commission. Is that okay? Is that okay? The team, the pastors, sorry, the elders executives, please see me after the service so I will perfect all arrangements 
I want to know how many elders we have in this church. Uh, for every one of you that have contributed to feed our elders, God bless you. Home and abroad, the Lord bless and honor you in Jesus' name. Uh, please, those of you that can slaughter goats, I'd like to wait for me after service. At least two goats will lay down their lives. At least what? Depending on the number of uh, depending on the number of uh, elders we have. Uh, we just think of what to do. Uh, buy goat. One person sent money from Germany. Say goat. And then buy goat. One goat for them. So we are going to buy the goat. Me, I go add my own. Then uh, some other. We are going to enjoy ourselves. Don't worry. All these elders. If you see them on Sunday, some of them go young pass you. Someone is blessed. Say I'm the one. I like to quickly say this: there's a need to belong to a team in the church. There's a need to do what? If you don't belong to a team, then you don't fully belong to the ministry. It's important you belong to a team of the church where you serve and identify with some members of the church. So that when you are doing anything, you have people that will also associate with you and rally around you. The whole church cannot attend your children's birthday or marriage ceremony. But if you are in a team and you are very functional and active there, when you have such celebration, you invite them, they will come. True or false? So please don't undo yourself. Belong to a team. By the grace of God, we will, in the next month of November, we'll be having induction class for those of you who have not in, attended so that you can have the opportunity to become a part of the team. Any team you like to become a part of. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. I sense in this service that many of you will be giving certificate of marriage there will be strange order of marriages in the year 2021. There will be what? Strange order of marriages. If I'm talking to you, say a big amen. amen. So God will give you a spiritual certificate that will guarantee this, the physical one of marriage in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Viewers all over the world, I welcome you especially to this service today, being the 25th of October, 2020. God has spoken concerning the year 2021. He has told me what the year is going to be like. We believe him to bring it to pass. I said we believe him to bring it to pass. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Let me say this. If you know you are here, what God is hungry for is more persons, more souls. So you must be a soul winner this season. You must be what? Soul when? And always. So use your life as a testimony to bring someone to Jesus. In case you don't have a testimony, tell God, Lord, give me a testimony. That will attract somebody to the to your house. Are you with me? Yes. When you send somebody a message, you'll pay transport fare. Am I talking? Uh, Lord, give me a testimony that will attract what? Someone to your house. And that shall be your portion. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Please, all team members will be electing our new leaders today. If you know that your leader, you are okay with his way and you are comfortable with his leadership style, especially if he's doing well, spiritually and helping you people to grow you can re-elect the person but if not you can use your votes we don't have PVC here <laughs> what we have is the other type it's PVC too but pen pen what? voters <laughs> somebody say amen to that amen. let me announce to somebody this week your life will experience good things amen. 
And I want to pray for somebody here. Anybody in your life that is preventing good things to happen, God will disconnect them today. Rise up and pray that prayer. Rise up and pray that prayer. Let the Lord hear your voice. Lord, anyone that is in my life that is not making me to grow, helping me to expand, helping me to prosper, disconnect me from them. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you. Bless us through your word this hour. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give the Lord a resounding clap for him. God bless you all. Please, you may be seated. All our first timers, we welcome you especially. We'll be praying for you before the service is over. God bless you. We love you. We want to see you again and again and again. And again. On Thursday, when you are coming, come with whatever you sell. It, it come, a point of contact. Just bring it that day for your blessing. Is that okay? This Christmas will be the best ever. Yeah. Do you agree with me? Father, I pray and I counsel every loss of money. Amen. There's somebody here, they are going to be sending you, somebody will call you to say, he's going to send you some goods, but you should bring some money first. Don't give the money until you see your goods. Hmm? Don't give anybody money until you do what? Koro, koro. As you as a deliver, you pay. Is that okay? Be careful also who you give your account details to. Huh? Be careful who you do what. Don't even try to give anybody your BVN number. Don't do that. Please be careful. By the grace of God on Sunday, we'll be giving us the ministry stickers for free. We'll share it for everyone. This is what you are going to do. Please remind me on Sunday. Let's do that. You will put your ATM and whatever it is inside it and fold it and keep wherever you are keeping it. Is that okay? Strangely, as the year is ending, 
something will be happening to your account for good. I don't know how it's going to happen. Remember God said to me that this year will be the year of strange is it not happening? How many of you knew that last Sunday they will give you say take coffee and stay in the house? Stay in the house because of coffee and be taking coffee. They push everybody into the house. How many of you knew that Monday will be that rampageous? How many of you knew that on was it Tuesday they killed those people? How many of you knew that it would happen like that? Strange manifestation. If strange things are happening there negatively, strange things should be happening to you positively. There is somebody in this service. You began as a Tanzania this year. You will end this year as a millionaire. I don't like that amen coming from somebody. Somebody is saying, why pastor just talking about wealth, blessing, glory? Then? That's the moment we are in. That's what is needed to make your life count. It is what is in your account that makes your life count. A man who says, how much is this piano? Has, knows what he has in his account. Take your seat. I went to buy some things someday and I was just picking everything that I needed. And when I got there and I gave them, I said, how much is it? And they called their mom and said, me paying for this kind of thing. Some six years ago, I couldn't try that. If I'm leaving the house, it's Omo. I want to go and buy. Now Omo, you go buy. How much is Omo? Omo is 150 naira. Uh -huh. In my heart, could be maybe 500 naira. As soon as I enter there, give me Omo. Am I talking to you? When you have money, you don't ask them to give you. You pick by yourself. You pick by yourself and ask them, how much is this? But when you are going for them to give you, you know how much it is before you get there. Is it famous? Is it true or false? I decree you will enter that realm yeah. where whatever you need, you just pick it. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. So shall it be for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. So prepare your minds now. I should give at least a bag of rice to somebody this year and just put it in your mind. This hand will distribute this Christmas. It's something as a man thinks in his heart. So is. If you don't think it, you cannot stick to it. It is what is running through your mind that your mind will always stick to. And if you have to be a blessing, it means you have to be first blessed. If God's thinking, if God is seeing your heart that you want to be a blessing, you say, okay, no, no, this one is qualified for blessing because when we give him, he also give out. Am I talking to you? So God bless you. Today I'll be speaking on the power of the communion table. The power of the word.
what we found find in the communion table is the flesh and the blood of Jesus Christ so who you communicate with determines what happens in your life The communion table is a special table prepared for us by our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 23 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 23 For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. What did he take? Verse 24. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it. This is my body which is broken for you. This do a remembrance of me. This do in what? Remembrance of me. Verse 25. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped saying this covenant, this cup is the new testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Heaven will not remember you until you remember what heaven has done for you. Jesus says, as oft as you drink of his blood, you should do it in remembrance of him. If you don't take of the communion as a believer, you dismember yourself from Christ from the body of Christ you do what? you dismember is there anything like that in English? you what? dismember but every time you take it you remember you, re you are reapplied as a member again of the body of Christ Jesus cannot be eaten. You know what I mean? Eating like flesh. Eh? But spiritually speaking, to be in touch with him, he says, take bread, bless it, give thanks to God for it, break it and eat it. Give to your family members, give to everyone who is a part of the body of Christ. And as often as you do that, you show forth his death and resurrection on the cross. You show, you connect again to the blessedness of his coming to the earth. Am I talking to you? Now, let's read on. Take us to verse, tw verse 24 again. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, Take it. This is my body. Am I talking to you? This is what? But he was holding bread, not his body. But spiritually, he says, This is my what? 
my body. Your life will not be relevant if you don't remember to take the body of Christ every day. Do you know that the coke you are drinking, if you are drinking coke in your office, or maybe with biscuits, Lord, this is not the blood of Jesus. This is not the flesh of Jesus. As I take of it, I remember you. And I reconnect myself to what you came to do on the earth. I share a secret with you which is more important than anything that you need to hear. The first liquid that should enter your mouth should be the blood of Jesus every day. The first solid should be what? The flesh or the body of Christ. I'd like you to look at that and try that for another one month. And you will notice that you will have no business with sickness and disease. It is what you know that makes you know. I'm showing you the revelation of the word of God so that sickness and disease will no more have a hold on you. The spirit of God reminded me of this and said I should talk to you about it. That many of you are falling sick every day because you have not remembered the body of Christ. If you take the body of Christ into you, anything cannot work against your own body. Let's read on verse 26 now. And when he had, okay, for as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he comes. Till when? As often as you eat it and drink it, what do you do? You show that Jesus came to die so that you can live. It is the best way to overcome the troubles of life. It is the best way to overcome sicknesses and diseases. If it was not important, Jesus wouldn't have done it. That was the last thing he ate with his disciples before his death. How come it was the night he was betrayed that he had to take the flesh and give to his, his disciples? In this world, you will find tribulation. You will find betrayers. You will find troubles. What will help you to stand is your reunion with Christ. Your communion with the blood and flesh of Jesus. So I want to make it mandatory from today. In your various homes, in your various offices, you must have a cup or you must have, what do you call that? The bottle of the blood and the flesh in your houses and in your offices. You must take communion. And anywhere you are, in case the bottle is not there, whatever drink that enters your hand can be called the blood of Jesus. Jesus took bread and said, this is my what? my body so you can take anything that is edible and say this is the flesh of Jesus now let's read on verse 27 wherefore whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. Now, in those days, they used to take the communion after Jesus was gone. 
So what used to happen is when they gather in church, some people will some people will leave their house hungry, and when they come to church, if you leave, read from the earlier verse, verses, eh, some will be eating the bread in the church like no man's business, and forget the relevance. They eat it because of hunger, and drink the wine in the church because of what thirst for wine. It is not so. That's why Paul was writing them. I was telling them, anyone who drinks it unworthily, you will be guilty of it. Because the way you take communion, it's not like the way you eat other food. You take it like you are, you have honor for what you are taking. It is the honor you place on the communion that brings honor upon your life. So some persons, because of that, the anger of God has struck them. Let's read verse 28. But let a man examine himself. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that wine. If you are committing sin, you are living a life of sin, you say you are coming to take partake of the blood of Jesus. It doesn't work like that. You must organize yourself and be, be connected in your heart because the blood of Jesus works against evil people are you with me you must be sure you are not an evil person because if you take it it will work against you and they overcame him by the word and by the words of their word so the blood of Jesus works against evil people so you must examine yourself you are not fighting anybody you are not committing sin. You are not planning evil against anybody. That makes you worthy because Jesus came. The Bible said the thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I am come that they what? may have life and have it. So if you are going to partake of the blood of Jesus, it is a very powerful table. Not meant for evildoers. What made Judas Iscariot to die the way he died was because he took from the same cup that Jesus took. That was why Jesus said, the one who has dipped his hand into the cup will be the one to betray me. And all of them began to say, Lord, is it I? Is it I? He said, the one who, the, the person know himself. He, Judas Iscariot got his judgment from partaking of the lost table. And when behind the same table you part, you took you partook of the same thing from with me. And you went behind to be betraying me. So whatever you took from me I'm the one that gave you that thing. It will work against you. And the man died by suicide. He died by himself. Nobody killed him. So the blood of Jesus will work against anyone who is against Jesus if he takes it. Are you hearing me? Yes, Don't partake of the communion. If we call for communion now in the church. Eh? We call for communion. Maybe you want to do communion in church. And you are against the grace of the ministry. You are against the pastor in the ministry. Don't take the communion. It will work against you. I'm just trying to let you know this. You need to take note of that. If you are speaking against the grace that's making available to you the communion table, don't take it. It can kill you. That's how powerful it is. It is two sided. Why is everywhere quiet like this? So examine yourself. The word communion means there must be a union with the one communicating that table to you. And that's Jesus Christ. You are in communion with Jesus. Don't walk against Jesus. 
Some of you are members of the commission or a church, wherever you came from. Some of you are members of the church right now. Some of you came as visitors. Please, I want to beg you, as you return to your churches or as you remain here, anything we want to do, especially when it has to do with communion table, if you know you are not right with God and you are not right with the grace at work here, don't partake of it. It has a double sword. It's a double sword or a double edged sword. It can give life and it can kill. Let's, let's read on. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh what? Damnation to himself, not designing the lost body. Verse 30, for he that for this cause many are weak and what? Sickly among you and many die. The word sleep there is die. Somebody say, how can I take communion table and be sickly? It means uh, not, be, not, not get power. Who told you? Examine yourself. If you take communion and it's not working positively, examine yourself if you have anything against the body of Christ because when you share the blood every body of us every one of us form the body of Christ is that not so let me give you an example Romans chapter 12 tells us the, about the body of Christ because there's no time we will not go into that if I take hammer now Pastor Toile I take hammer. Eh? God forbid, I can't do that to you. And I say, put your hand here. You now put your hand. I use hand, the hammer to hammer your hand. Is it only your hand that will feel the pain? Eh? How many of parts of your body will feel it? How many parts of your body will react? The entire body will react. Even the entire even my head. Says. Even your head, you will hear it gang, gang, gang. The brain will first make gra -ga 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 -ga. Am I talking to you? The way God wants us to live in his house. Eh? Because that was a, a symbol of unity. That Jesus left with the body of Christ. That was, why, that was the last thing he did before he left them. He gave them the communion to keep them together. Am I talking to you? So as that is done, anyone among them who will want to walk against the other part of the body, what happens? That part is taken off. That part is what? Have you heard of amputation before? God will not allow anyone to be amputated here. What makes the doctor to amputate a part of the body? Is so that it will not affect other parts of the body. That part is cut off. Since you don't want to cooperate and live healthy like we are, you go, make we rest. That's why in Revelation Jesus said, If you are neither hot nor cold, I will spoon you out of my mouth. So God is jealous about his house, he is jealous about his people. And if we drink of the same blood from the same table, we, don't, we are not meant to walk against ourselves. You are not meant to speak against your brother. You are not meant to speak against your sister in the body of Christ. If you do so, you become sickly. You give room for attack. Some of you can't understand what's happening to you. You treat malaria today. Treat typhoid tomorrow. Next month, you have to keep treating. Not as if there's mosquito in your house. When you go, they say it's typhoid. Sometimes they will say the thing itself. We don't understand. This forms part of it. Jesus is jealous for his body. We are all members of the body of Christ. You are not meant to speak against your brother. You are not meant to speak against your sister. 
if your sister has done anything, as long as you are drinking from the same table, you are meant to meet the brother. This thing you did to me, I don't like it. And let the person say, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know it would hurt you. The sister says, I'm sorry. I didn't know it would hurt you. And let the matter go. Am I talking to somebody? If the hand is sick, what part of the body takes the drug? Eh? Is it the mouth that is sick? Is it the mouth that has pain? But it takes the drug to appeal to the, the pain in the part of the hand. What am I talking about? We are all together to build together to help one another. So if you are taking the communion on your own, it is to help yourself. But in that state, you must be right with God. You must be what? So that the communion will not work against you. For those of you who were once in courts or various useless groups, what was used to initiate the person? Blood. What was used to initiate? Blood. So the blood of Jesus has a voice. It has what? Every blood has what? A voice. So the one we take is the blood of Jesus. And the blood of Jesus is meant to speak for us on daily basis. Now look at what it says in the next verse. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be what? Judged. What, what does that mean? If you will take note of yourself, you examine yourself and check whether you are living right. Nobody will judge you. Am I talking to you? Oh, I don't feel like you are getting me. If you are careful how you live your life, eh? you will not make mistakes that will make people to begin to say, you don't see how they do in life. You don't see how they live. So what do you do? Judge yourself. Check yourself. The next verse. But when we are judged, we are chastised of the law that we should not be condemned with the world. In case you have any reason why you are told what you have done wrong, it is God trying to correct you. Why? So that the world will not call you names and begin to judge you in a judgment that is not right. Am I talking to you? So, what does the blood of Jesus and the flesh of Jesus do for us? It helps us to remember the life of Christ. And it helps the blood of Jesus to be speaking to our own blood to help us live like Christ. When you receive blood now, the blood of Jesus, it communicates with you your spirit, your soul, and your body to live the life of Christ. Because the power of life is in what? In the blood. So if you are in touch with the blood of Jesus, you are in touch with the blood of with the life of Jesus. So I want to recommend for every one of you, as much as I know, the blood of Jesus has seven retentive packages. How many? And if you are in touch with this blood of Jesus on a daily basis, these seven things must be happening to you. Revelation chapter 5, I will close from there. Revelation chapter 5, from verse 10. And has made us unto our God kings and what? Priests. Why are we made priests? In those days, priests are meant to always have connection with blood, sacrifice, contact with blood on daily basis. 
Am I talking to you? It is a priest that does the offering, you know, on the altar of sacrifice. So they have connection with blood. Blood is used on the altar, and the flesh is eaten. So God, Jesus, has made us what? Priest. So you are a priest to yourself on daily basis. You must take, you must have connection, communication, a communion with the blood of Jesus on daily basis. As a priest. God has made us kings and what? Priests. And look at what it says. And we shall reign on the earth. If you are in touch with the blood of Jesus, eh, you live a royal life and you will reign on the earth. I pray for somebody here. Amen. From today, the blood of Jesus will continue to speak in your life. Amen. Let's read verse 11. And I beheld, beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne, and the beasts, and the elders, and the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands. Verse 11. Verse 12. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive. There are seven major things the blood of Jesus will give to you. Number one, power. Someone say power. First, the power to live your own life and the power to live for others. The power to conquer in the affairs of life. A man with, that is in touch with the blood of Jesus is in touch with power. Somebody say power. power. Say love. Power. What do the occult people use in transmitting their power to a new initiative? Blood. And what is inside that blood? Power. What's inside that blood? Power. They are trying to transmit their power into that person to begin to live like them. We have a more superior blood, which is the blood of Jesus. So as you take of the blood of Jesus, what you are taking inside of you is what? Power. Power is power. Number two. Now, why would the angels be saying it with a loud voice? Because that's what is important to make you to win on the earth. Remember, I say you shall reign on the earth. But there is something that will make you reign on the earth. Be in touch with the blood of the lamb that was slain. He had been slain already as a lamb. It's no more a lamb, it's now the Lord. And he wants to make you a lord on the earth. But to be able to have what he has, you must take what connects to him through the communion. Number one, what is what did to receive what? That was slain to receive power. And what? For those of you that think that you have to be poor as a believer, if you are in touch with the blood of Jesus, you, can, you are not meant to be poor. Riches and what wisdom the blood of Jesus carries strange order of wisdom. Please understand this truth I'm sharing with you. If you discover that you do things foolishly, start taking the communion table. You will discover in one month what will happen to you. I am sharing this thing with you. Wisdom is in the blood of Jesus. The next one, strength is in the blood of Jesus. And I know that sometimes some persons complain. I don't, I don't get power. I don't get strength. They, what do they tell you to do? Go and check your PCV. The level of this, the blood you carry determines the level of your strength, physically speaking. Am I talking here? So it does not just give you physical strength. It gives you spiritual strength. Because there, in this world are many things that will discourage you. 
But when you are in tune with the, you are in communion with the blood of Jesus, you receive strength. You receive what? Yes. I have received many, many things, many battles, many things that would have discouraged me as a person. Even in this, my walk with God, many strange battles, many strange fights. But what keeps me going? Is the power, the strength I draw from the blood of Jesus. Now let's look at it. The next one he said, and honor. Jesus is honorable. So to have his blood in you is to make your life honorable. It carries what? Honor. And what? Glory. If your life is not radiating glory, you are not in turn. You are not in touch and you are not in tune and in communion with the blood of Jesus. Your life should carry glory. Your life should reflect glory. And he said, and what? Blessing. To be in communion with the blood of Jesus is to live a blessed life. Is to live a what? I am telling you the truth. I have delivered them to you as given to me by the Lord the blood of Jesus gives you power what's the next one riches wisdom strength honor glory and what and blessing so there are seven because seven days of the week at least one of it she will answer to you. I have never seen a man who was not born at least in one day of the week. How many days do we have in the week? How many? How many of you were born on another day? He said that you were born on Monday or you were born on Tuesday. When you were born on Wednesday, it could be on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Any other day? It means a perfect life. To have all this is to live a what? A perfect life. Check yourself. What part of this are you lacking in your life? Focus on that and say, Lord, I shall partake of this communion. I partake of life. I take your, your wishes. I take wisdom. I take strength. I take, what's the other one? Honor. I take glory. I take blessing. Consciously. Consciously. Can somebody give me water? I want to practicalize something. I do that and we close. What, let me ask you, sir, come. What area among all these things mentioned are you lacking? What are you lacking? Blessings. Riches. Huh? riches. Why is this and riches you first go? The man said, ah, Pastor, ah, now you they ask this kind of question. You don't know what to be the cocoa. Now Malaka. Without power, you can't get riches. Let me say this to you. If you look at all these occultic groups, what they mostly promise you is power and riches. True or false? Say it louder. Some of you don't pretend you were once there. Say it loud. Say it louder. If you join us, you will get power. Nobody will molest you. 
Have you heard that before? That's what they say in all those they are useless for Boni and other places. Join us, you have power. Join us, you do what? Join us. We will give you power. We will give you one ring. If you wear that, you take and touch person. The person will confuse. No, no one give you everything what you get. If you the challenge you, if you use and touch her, you go subdue her. If you tell her, may turn to rat. He say, really? Eh? Yeah. Okay, I'll conjure. But when you join us, money, mo what's it? Money. The one who is telling you doesn't have fadi. To further put them in more pain, they tell them, okay, if you want to really get that money, bring it the head of your first son. Uh -huh. Some, their first sons are imbeciles. All of a sudden, the child just becomes strange, begins to behave strange. Some, they will say, sell all the destinies of your children so that you see this thing when they come money. You see, you go to you go the chop. Why do you think they, they tell them to bring casket? Because somebody has to die for you to live his own life. Do, does it make sense to you? They say bring casket. They program the life of an individual into the casket and say, may you carry out. You now go and be living using the life of somebody to better your own life, in quotes. So they like that person is either dead or just living for nothing. There are many of you here, your fathers so bought your destiny and sold it to the devil to make a useless wealth. And I can bet with you, they never rest if they are still alive, if they are done dead, they never live the life of peace. They cannot tell you because it's not be waiting that they talk for mouth. It is inside body. Pastor Toilet, if you are feeling any pain in your shoe now, inside your leg, I can't tell. No, only you know. You will wear the shoe. And I know where the pinch you. Yes, daddy. Eh? Yes, daddy. And until you tell me, I cannot know. And some of these occultic people, they will not like their son to join. They will but not they will like to bring other people. They will not what? Like their son. I have a friend who is an Ogboni man. If you say, if, why your papa not take you to join this? Church? He says, not my that old man. Tell the man that your, your son wants to join. He says, come, 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 come. What did I hear? They don't want their own to join. They want to bring other people. Because the one that doesn't want his son to join, sir, you may think he doesn't want his son to join. He has used his son already. It's not about bringing the son to come and join. Some don't put their children. The ones who put their children is those who don't want to sell their children. They say, instead of me to buy in destiny, use in destiny, they do. Make Kuku join me for a year. Are you with me, sir? But some of them, they close their eyes and say, I bet my using you. My, my, I want to live my life, but they live for himself. Now me born now. Now me get her. Now me go use her and do what they like. Am I talking to you? I pray for anyone here under the sound of my voice that they have bought and sold with your destiny. Today we buy back your life with the blood of Jesus. If your father was an occultic man, you need to pray you need to if your father was an occultic man or is still an occultic man you need to pray you want to say something yes. Huh? yes what do you want to say my late father my late barrister was into different society up to white winch in America white witch in America. in America so your father was a wizard Thank God you know. 
Thank God you what? What's that? The school of what? The school of Waika in the America, school. yes. The school of Waika. Yes. Professors get involved with it, practicalize themselves. They will see they also see Waka. I didn't hear of that before, but we are going to give them Waka. They go Waka loss. So, children of God, you better be in communion with the blood of Jesus and let it be speaking on your life. So that any other blood, any other altar speaking in your life will be terminated. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimonies. For they loved not their lives unto the death. They didn't like their way, the way their life was going and it was showing death, death, death. Everything you are doing, you're just dying. If you are not progressing as a child of God, there is something you are using to progress negatively against you. If you are not progressing positively as a child of God, if you like be a bishop, I don't care. It means somebody is progressively using your star negatively. So I'm challenging you now. Be in communion with the blood of Jesus and overcome those powers. Rise to your feet. Okay? God is going to give you Wet. Mm-hmm. Wet. You know wet? You know you have been struggling. Don't worry. Your time is now. Get the communion. Get the communion and take it on daily basis. I'm talking to everybody here. I took my time to consecrate the, the, the blood of Jesus we have in the bookstore yesterday. Are you with me? Get a bottle as you are going. Get a bottle and do what? you and your family must partake of it. Wherever you are, in your bookstore, your business place, if it is coke that enters your hand, remember to sanctify it as the blood of Jesus. If these seven things I have mentioned are not at work and visible in your life, the blood of Jesus is not speaking in your life. You are not in communion with Jesus. Remember, Second Corinthians chapter thirteen, verse fourteen. Second Corinthians thirteen, verse fourteen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. Amen. Amen. The grace of Jesus is in the blood of Jesus. That's what first saved you. That was the first contact you had. For by grace are ye saved. What happens to somebody? Until you encounter the blood of Jesus that washes away your sin, you are not saved. It takes the blood of Jesus to save you. It takes the blood of Jesus to keep you safe. Help your neighbor. Say neighbor. It takes the blood of Jesus to save you. And it takes the blood of Jesus to keep you safe. That's why we say every night, sprinkle the what? Sprinkle the blood. Leave the rest to God. Thank you, Jesus. I want to give you this as the blood of Jesus. Hmm? I'm going to speak into it as a blood. You will drink it. If in three months your life does not change, come and meet me. Tell me, say, Pastor, I've not seen anything. And as you do it, do it on daily basis. Father, 
I call this the blood of Jesus. I release into it power, riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory, and blessing. Lord, as your son drinks of this, let this several retentive power speaking the blood of Jesus begin to speak in his life. In Jesus' name. Amen. This is now the blood of Jesus. Take. Drink it. Carry go. Somebody say, why this is only a pastor do this thing? Listen to me. I'm going to release to somebody here grace for the race of life. Second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 20. Take your seat for a moment. Are you in a hurry to go home? Is somebody blessed by that teaching? Now waiting they save you. They save you. Now waiting they keep you. Jesus. Lord of Jesus. Come, daughter of Zion, you come. Every power that is working against you, your father's house, the one who is fighting you, I decree them someone here. No! By the power in the name of Jesus. Come here. Come here. Who are you? Huh? Eh? Power for Father's house. Power for Father's house. For Father's house. Yes. Bring that blood. I want to show you something. What is this? Blood. Eh? You say? What is that? The, the blood. Yeah? Blood. Why you they run? The fire. Na fire. Mm, no, no, no. They say the fire you carry. The fire. Eh? I need them. Uh -huh. What? Are you seeing what is happening here? Are you seeing what is happening? Listen, I want to release power into your lives. Anytime you consecrate anything as a blood, it will answer as a blood. Please, not only sprinkle the blood in your house, sprinkle into your shops. Even though it's ordinary water, just gather it. Whatever you are using to clean your mop, your shop, drop the blood inside. Whatever they did in the night, as you mop, you mop it off. Am I talking to somebody here? Eh? What's this? I know they can hear me. What is this? What is this? Come here. You say what? What did you say? Open your eyes now. Wait till. Wait till be this. Come. Wait till be this. Wait first now. Why you they do like that? Wait till happen. Wait till be this. Why you they do like that? That question I ask you. Wait till be this. Eh? Give me another bottle of water. Oh God, Tetel! Tetel, what's that again? Tetel! Tetel! I told you nothing with that is easy for me. If I don't bear you, Tetel! 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 Give the mic. Tetel! 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 Make I take time. Turn up! I get time here. Stop. I get time. I don't need to take. I get. So I say I get. When I don't get. Which one you want me to take again? Come. Waiting with this. 
Just take it easy. Eh? I don't take time now. I hold my own. Wait till me this thing. Talk true. Eh? Nah. Eh? Talk with your mouth. Talk and now. Blood of uh, Blood of who? Eh? What will be this one? Huh? Mm. Talk. This one. This one are waiting. Mm. No water. No water? Mm. Okay, hold on now. Hold on, no fear. Why the fear? Hold on, no worry. No. Hold on first, no worry, no worry. Let me give you. No water, Abby? Mm. Huh? No. Fight that. Fight that. Fight that. You don't know where you are. You are seeing yourself ordinary. That's why your life is ordinary. Dr. Toile, you are just commonizing things. That's why things are common. Come, Maga, you. Give him this. Open it and declare. I decree this now as the blood of Jesus. Oh yeah. I decree this by the blood of Jesus. This man, no, he did this service. He did verse you, Abby. He did verse you. No verse, no verse. Oh yeah, take it from him. Do you know what to do? Oh yeah, let him try, let him try again. Show him love. Show him some love. Leave him. Show him some love. The guy that do this man for body. Or you declare it as the blood of Jesus. I decree this by the blood of Jesus. Okay, give the other brother. I want someone who have understanding of what we are doing. I declare this water by the blood of Jesus. You see what happens to people in the church? Everything I've been saying now, no understanding. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. I remember those days when my mother was alive. If anything pain, I go say, "Hi, oh Krima." You know what to do now? Yes. Oh, yeah, do that. I decree this water. Now, the blood. Give it to somebody. Praise the Lord. I declare this water as blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Say it now. In Jesus' name. That's the only authority to make it so. That's the only word. Jesus gave us power but left the authority in his own hand. The authority is in the hand of Jesus. Why the power is in your own hand. Am I talking to you? If, you, if I don't see prosperity around you before this year is ending, I know you are not part of this family. Now you have been told that riches is in the blood of Jesus. What do you have there? Power! Riches is where? In the blood of Jesus. So if you like, be in communion with it and become rich. If you like, leave it. It will leave you. Uh -huh, you have, you, what did you say? I have said it already, already. Say it again. I declare this water with the blood of Jesus. Who knows what to do? I give him. 
Oh yeah, go ahead. I decree this water as the blood of Jesus. Now in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh yeah, give her. Give that. No, give that. That power of Father's house. Give Father's house. Take. Wait till me that one. Eh? Huh? But you said our water just now. Don't change. It don't change. Which color it can be? Huh? It's the red. It's the red. Mm. Uh, bring the. Is it is it red in your eyes? No, eh? no it's not red. He said not be red. Huh? Eh? Na red. Na red. This man said not be red. Now you say not the sea, eh? What will it be? Eh? Not be so water be you. And I know the drink water. Oh, yeah, open your eye. It is the blood. How do you say? I decree this now as the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name. No, all this, I burn and scatter. Just whatever you should scatter, let the blood go and scatter it. Just say, I. I consecrate this now. Someone say now. now. Us. Us. The blood of Jesus. In Jesus name. Amen. Don't use it as water. Use it as the blood of Jesus. Because in the eyes of your enemies. It is now the blood of Jesus. But it is until you see it as so. They cannot see it as so. I saw that other bottle as water. And I gave it to this devil in the house. Not she, I mean the demon talking through her. Eh? And what that demon, what did he say? What did he say it is? Say now what are now? So when a, a member of the body of Christ declared it as the blood of Jesus, you gave, we gave it back to that devil. And what did he say? Say now blood. Okay. It is written by the blood of Jesus. We overcome you. Sprinkle the blood on that devil. Now, leave this daughter of Zion and let her go forever. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. That's all, Lord. That's the end. That's all. Somebody say, that's all. And they overcame him. Who is the him you want to overcome? How are you? How are you? Fine, Daddy. What happened to you? I don't know. You don't know? I called you out. Yes. That's the last thing you remember. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, give her his own. Okay. It's the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Daddy. Huh? Thank you, Daddy. Drink it. Okay. The power is holding you back. Goodbye. Forever. Stop looking for victory when you have a sure victory given into your hand. Rise to your feet. Is somebody blessed in this service? You are here, you are not born again. You want to give your life to Jesus. Please come forward. Our time is fast spent. So that the, the coffee will not come and meet us in this service. How many of you have been drinking coffee inside the coffee? Do you know that your cup of tea can be consecrated as the blood of Jesus? As you are taking your breakfast in the morning with that sliced bread, this is now the flesh and the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Father, thank you for it. I never see any devil we go challenge you that day. Am I talking to somebody here? You want to give your life to Jesus wherever you are, come forward. If you are not born again, then you are born against. If you are not born again, it means you are born against the, the kingdom of God.
Give it all. Bring them all. Give them all to Jesus. Shattered dreams, broken heart. Amen. Sing it loud. Give them all. Give them all. Give them all. Give them all. Give them all to Jesus. And he will tie your soul into the Sing it loud. Give them all. Give them all. Give them all. Thank you, Father. Every one of you here, you are privileged to be here because God is about to change your story to glory. Lift up your two hands and say after me, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. Forgive me my sins. Today, I surrender to you to live for you. I receive you as my Lord and personal Savior. Jesus, forgive me my sins. Wash me clean with your precious blood. I identify with your blood so that my life can be good. Thank you, Jesus, for the salvation of my soul. In Jesus' name, Amen. I pray for you today and I decree your sins are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Oga, you have to pray against lust. You know lust? You know what lust is? L-U-S-T. You, do you know what it is? What is lust? Huh? So when somebody lost something, an unnecessary desire for women, huh? uncontrollable desire for women. You know what I mean by that? Yes, sir. That's lust. Yes, sir. When you see woman, all your body go to shake. I'm not saying it's like that, please. That's not what I'm saying. But that's what they want to use to, at to attack his destiny. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, I understand, sir. Uh, you are, you're already experiencing it sometimes. Yes, yes, sir. Lost. Please. Somebody say, hey, hey. hey. No, I say somebody say, hey, hey. You, are even, you even lost more, more than him. Your own. Once you see woman like this, all your body don't vibrate. You know there are people like that. They cannot hold a woman. If they try it, they are in trouble. They will melt. They will just melt. You need to pray. That's not a good thing. But I like to pray for you. Huh? You have a great destiny. Do you like football? Yes, sir. Do you play? No, sir. Why? I don't have the chance, sir. You don't have the chance? Yes, Where you You be Igbo, man? No, sir. Where you be? I'm Bini. You be Bini? Yes, sir. You resemble Igbo, man. No? That battle going on in your mind is over. Receive concentration. Amen. I receive focus. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Pray against loss and be conscious of the world, eh? mm -hmm. so that it will not overcome you. Okay. Thank you, sir. The Lord bless you. Please, you can return to your seat, every one of you.
Those of you coming for the first time on the Sunday service, we want to pray for you now. Please come forward.